Where are we leaving, Tambi? We are leaving Rock Sound. And where are we going? To the Pineapple Keys. Pineapple Keys. The wind is blowing maybe an average of 15 knots. Currently going five knots. We will uh, get the head sail out after we round the point down there. Right now we're sailing just downwind and uh, eventually we'll turn around the corner get the head sail out and we should be really cooking then at which point you'll see tamby's eyes get really big head sail is now out i guess about halfway one reef in the main move it along at uh, six to six and a half knots and let's see not all that big yet. Let's get the rest of that head out, huh? No. No. <laughs> <Great. laughs> Right, so we have relocated. We are now currently just off the coast of a settlement called Palmetto Point, uh, still in Eleuthera. We are actually located directly over a large blue hole, and we are about to go explore a little island called Sheep Key, I believe the name of it is. Uh, and this, uh, this little cluster of islands here, there's this one, that one, and another one behind it. These are called the Pineapple Keys. And apparently there are some caves on that island. Uh, it's just a little note that is written on our uh, Explorer chart book. So I have no idea what to expect, but we're going to go check it out and see what is going on. We have the dinghy ready to go. We're just going to be rowing over. Ladies! Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yep. Cast off lines, Admiral. Cast off, Swabby. Mm. Wow. I like your enthusiasm. Here you go. Grasp GoPro, Admiral. Out 
I'll lead the way. Okay. Okay. Fearless leader. Fearless leader. It's going forward into the brush, going down this trail. All right, everybody back up, back up, go back out. <laughs> Maybe you should lead the way, Molly. All right, we are pressing on. It doesn't seem to be any particular sort of trail. Good thing I'm wearing my Crocs. Oh man. Crocs are superior footwear for absolutely any terrain on the face of the planet. If you're wearing Crocs, you are prepared for anything. Oh man, just look how, look at all the holes in this stuff. It is very porous indeed. What the heck are these things, people? I've seen these things all over the islands, these random concrete things with a piece of rebar poking out of them. All right, we are currently standing atop a 20-foot cliff, possibly even 21. And just over this way, it looks like there's some, some caves. Maybe this is the caves they were talking about. Great job, Molly. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's, that's the hole everybody had to step across right there. Pretty thin looking. <laughs> There's another one of those things. What the heck is that? It's like a concrete booby. Tell me what they are. Oh man, look at that. Oh, look at that awesome pool down there. Look at all those fish. Whoa, it's like a pocket of feathers. Let's not touch it. Like that's the, that's the flower part. That's yeah, so high. Uh -huh. that's why this end looks so weird. It's, it's like not a, a tree, it's a flower. flower. Huge. I guess that's why all those bugs and like all the pollinators are like going crazy. Like a Might come back and do some snorkeling slash spear fishing on these big rock chunks here. See some, I can see some good sized fish just even from up here. Maybe margets and. Can you see any yep, I think I saw a yellowtail snapper. And they'd be really pretty to snorkel around too.
Oh man, it's like it's turned red. Yeah, isn't that nice? It is. If we oh, it's good. Smells like red lobster in here. Get it out. And then there's the nice um, lobster tail Will's got pulling up. Lobster tail ready to go. Look at that. Woohoo. Ow, 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 ow. How long did you boil those for, Rose? You think that's me? Um, right there, it said 20 to 30, so actually about 25. Yeah. 25 minutes? Yeah, it's the thing with like uh, lobster and crab. It's like oh. pretty important. Mmm, boy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should I, uh, you don't, probably don't want to dip it straight in yeah. there? Yeah. Do you mind if I um, go right there? Sure. Lobster, Tamby's homemade spicy mayonnaise. It oh, good, man. Though. It smells really good. Mm. Oh, that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm courting you. Crab. I don't like it with the grilled flavor. Spicy mayo. Oh, that's really yeah. good. That spicy mayo is good. Oh man, that smells so mm. good. Like I, I don't even think I want butter or anything on that. He did put, uh, he put butter on it. He did like a garlic. Oh, on the about crab? The, no, I didn't on the oh, crab. The crab. Oh man, no, dude, lobster. that is good. <laughs> Tamby, lover of seafood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Tammy, Tammy's not so much of a seafood fan. She is about to try a little taste of crab meat. I've never had crab before. Oh, Are you serious? No. Okay. I, I didn't realize that. Never? Never. Okay, well this is a big moment. Okay. Don't this let scared. the camera influence your, uh, your enjoyment of this, this morsel. Okay, Tammy. And there it goes. It tastes good. Yay! I feel like there's a butt there. But I still know it's crab. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. Nice, Tambi. Good Woo! job for trying it. You want to try another one? It's sweet. It's like a sweet meat. No. It's like chicken. No, it's sweet. Yeah, like chicken. No, it's chicken. Yeah, like chicken. It's kind of sweet. Like, like eight-legged yeah. chicken. Like if chicken had eight legs, claws, <laughs> and lived in the sea, it would taste like chicken. <laughs> It's like a concrete booby. Tell me what they are. 